Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and this is our reading of the next installment of Thoth's Emerald Tablets. We are looking at Tablet 9 today, which is the key of freedom of space. Now, before we get started, if you are new to this channel, if this is the first time that you are joining us for this reading and this discussion, I'm really glad you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You don't necessarily have to listen to the previous tablets to understand this tablet, but if you would like to after this is over or before getting into this tablet, if you would like to look at the past readings of all the previous tablets, those are down in the description box below under show notes. Now again, before we get started, let's take a brief moment to hear a word from our sponsors. My Uncle Dan used to talk about QTR. QTR meant for him quality time remaining. My Uncle Dan was a very active cyclist and a very avid hiker. And after he retired after a long career, he decided that he really wanted to make the most of the years he had left where there was quality to his life before the aging process really limited his ability to enjoy things like cycling and hiking. Unfortunately, my Uncle Dan did lose his battle to cancer back in 2019, but when I was first introduced to the ASEA product, all I kept thinking about was my Uncle Dan and his concoction post-retirement of quality time remaining. As human beings, we've been taught that as our body starts to age, we eventually have to start giving up some of the activities that we enjoyed. For my uncle, that was cycling and hiking. With the ASEA supplement, what this product does is it restores signaling back into the body. Signaling, our communication between the cells of the body, is what actually allows the aging process to happen. Your body is designed by nature, by God, whatever you want to call that higher consciousness, it's designed to heal itself. That's why the cells communicate. That's why you have an immune system. But unfortunately, as we become conditioned to the toxins of this world, that immune system and that signaling system start to wear down. When our body loses signaling, that's what causes wrinkles. That's what causes cellulite. That's what causes the hair to gray. And for men, that's potentially what causes hair loss. As Dr. Silverman has used as an example, when we are a child and we fall off of our bicycle and skin our knees, our recovery time is pretty quick. This is because we have an abundance of redox or signaling in our bodies. But after puberty and into our adulthood, we rapidly start to lose this signaling. So if we were to fall off a bike at 80, that could mean life or death. Now for me, since I've been on the SIA now for about three months, I have noticed a tremendous amount of energy and endurance restored back to my life. As you guys all know, I am an avid exerciser. I truly believe in the power of a good sweat. And since starting the ASEA, I have noticed that my recovery time between workouts and my endurance within workouts has enhanced immensely. I'm able to go longer and harder. I've also noticed, as many of you guys have commented in the comment section, I feel like I'm getting younger or at least looking younger. No, my age keeps going up, but I look back and compare my videos now to the videos I did when I first started YouTube and I feel like I look younger now than I did then. And I do have to say that is most likely because of the ASEA. When I talked to my mother about this product, I mentioned the quality time remaining that my uncle Dan used to speak of and how with the ASEA for her as a grandmother, this product can give her her the potential to have a lot longer quality time of playing in the backyard with her grandchildren. 
In fact, so many amazing, incredible stories can be found in comment sections of this video and on Asiya's own YouTube channel, which I will place down in the description box below. Now, we can't make any medical claims with this product as it is just a supplement. But from my perspective and from all of the um, perspectives and experiences I've read from you guys, this product has done nothing but enhance every single person's life every single person's quality time remaining, whether that be 50 years or 10 years. We see a lot of people talk about med beds, this idea of med beds. Everybody's waiting for a med bed, but what if I told you, in my opinion, the med bed is already here. With the ASEA, what it comes with, each liquid, it's a liquid, each liquid comes with its own shot glass. The shot glass is about two ounces. Each person is instructed to take between four and eight ounces a day. You take a little shot of the ASEA, you swish it around for 30 to 60 seconds so that you allow the saliva to carry the redox where it wants to carry it, and then you swallow the rest. The redox is so genius, and the creators of this product are so genius genius that in my opinion they really really honored and respected God's design because you see when you take the liquid redox you are allowing your body its own intelligence because the redox is just a tool it's just the signaling for your cells your cells your body is designed to heal itself and this is what helps the body to continue to heal itself and so when you take the liquid your body knows exactly where it needs to send the redox, what part of your body is wounded, what part of your body isn't so stable. And so it sends the redox to that particular area so the cells in that area can start to communicate to get that particular area of the body back to where it needs to be. Now, of course, with this redox gel, you are able to direct the gel wherever you want it to go. So today I woke up and had a little bit of a creak in my neck. So I took the redox gel and I rubbed it on the back of my neck three times within five minutes. I personally, in my experience, automatically started to feel relief. You can also use this as a beauty supplement too. I've been using the gel on my thighs and on my boobs because yes friends i am 40 years old and as as the aging process does occur the body starts to droop a little bit and no i've never had children so my boobs aren't as droopy as they could be if i had to use them to feed a child but they still are you know i got boobs and they 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 are, they're starting to sink a little bit. I also have stretch marks on my boobs that I've had my whole life because, you know, they grew at some point when I was a child. So I've been taking the gel and putting them on my chest. And not only have I noticed a difference, but my boyfriend has also noticed a different difference as well. My boyfriend has been putting the gel on his head. As he is in his 50s now, he has started to notice thinning of the hair, as most men do around that age in their lives. And he is starting to grow his hair back which is quite incredible. In fact, I find myself now when I walk past him putting my hand in his hair just to feel all the hair that's growing back on his head. You see, my friends, your body doesn't want to fail you. It wants to keep you going. It wants to keep you healthy. That is how God designed it. And this product is basically the controllers of this world's worst nightmare. Now, once again, I can't make any medical claims because this product is just a supplement. But from everything I have researched about this product, from all of the people using this product, you really can't go wrong with this product. And because this product uses the intelligence of your body, each individual person is going to start to notice different things occurring with this product. If you are interested in learning more about this product or purchasing this product, product or even becoming a part of the business of ASEA, please text Bryce Info to 321-216-8047. Again, that's Bryce Info to 321-216-8047 and J or Hillis will get back to you as soon as possible. If you are texting from a country outside of the United States, please make sure that you add plus one. 321-216-8047 plus one is our country code. And in your text, 
on top of texting Bryce info, just make sure you let Jay or Hillis know that you are texting from a country outside of the United States so they can arrange a call with you on WhatsApp or Signal or Zoom, any application that's not going to charge you. With that being said, another amazing thing about the SEA company is that they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if this product doesn't work for you or isn't what you expected after the first 30 days, they will refund you. All right, back to our show. All right, let's get started with Tablet 9, The Key of Freedom of Space. So as I have been doing, I'm going to read through all of Thoth's writing, and then we're going to go back and look at Doriel's commentary and translation. List ye, O man, hear ye my voice, teaching of wisdom and light in this cycle. Teach ye how to banish the darkness. Teach ye how to bring light in thy life. And as I'm reading this, I do apologize once again if you hear some banging going on outside. For those who are new here, I am literally filming this from the middle of Atlanta, Georgia, and they are building a high rise about less than 10 feet from my window. So I do apologize if you hear that. There is nothing I can do about it. Seek ye, O man, to find the great pathway that leads to eternal life as a son. Draw ye away from the veil of darkness. Seek ye to become a light in this world. Make of thyself a vessel for light, a focus for the sun of this space. As we've been saying many, many, many times on this channel, kind of the theme of this channel, it's not really about what's going to allow you to ascend or allow you to be one with God, one with the light. It doesn't matter what you know. Like it is no, there's no bearing whether you know about certain conspiracies or whether you know certain truth. That doesn't matter at all. What matters is you, how you are in this world. It doesn't matter if you know who the good guys are or who the bad guys are if you're trying to enslave people to your way of thinking. That's a negative polarity. Or if you're an asshole to people, that's a negative polarity. Likewise, it doesn't matter if you don't know anything about the truths of this world if you're good to people. If you treat people with respect and you're not trying to infringe on other people's free will. So it's really important here. Lift thine eyes to the cosmos, lift thou thine eyes to the light. Speak in the words of the dweller, the chant that calls down the light. Sing thou the song of freedom, sing thou the song of the soul. Create the high vibration that will make me that will make thee one with the whole. Blend all thyself with the cosmos, grow into one with the light. Be thou a channel of order, a pathway of law to the world. So this is really important. He's saying, you know, the song of freedom, the song of the soul, be one with the whole. Okay, so again, that goes back to enslavement, right? If you were on the side of light, then you're not looking to follow a leader. Because to follow a leader is to choose the path of enslavement. The path of enslavement is not freedom. The path of enslavement is going into a pecking order, which is fourth density negative. So all y'all out there, all y'all out there that are trying to bow down to the white hats or bow down to certain people, you're following the negative path. You're not following the path of sovereignty, of, of being freedom, of having a social memory complex where we all work together collectively, which is fourth density positive. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't show respect to other people, but you definitely don't bow down and become subservient to someone, all right? Whether that's a political leader, whether that's a YouTube person, whether that's um, anybody, a, a religious leader, you know, I don't want anybody bowing down to me. That we, I want you to have your free will choice and we can have conversations and work together to understand this, right? So you have to be, that's, a, that's something really important to ask yourself. Are you falling into enslavement or enslavement tactics? Because if you are, that's not of the light. And so let me read that again. Let me read that verse again. Lift thou thine eyes to the cosmos, lift thou thine eyes to the light. Speak in the words of the dweller, the chant that calls down the light. Sing thou the song of freedom, sing thou the song of the soul. Create the high vibration that will make thee one with the whole. Blend all thyself with the cosmos, grow into one with the light. Be thou a channel of order, a pathway of law to the world. 
Thy light, O man, is the great light, shining through the shadow of the flesh. There are a lot of people out there that are still real confused, real confused about the body and the soul. For those in the back of the room who can't hear this or haven't heard this, your body is not, is not your soul. Doesn't matter what your blood type is. Doesn't matter who your mama and your daddy is. Doesn't matter who your great granddaddy was. Doesn't matter if you're a, a descendant of this person or that person. That fuck matters fuck all. Because your body's not your soul. Your soul, your body is the shakti of your soul. It's the expression of the soul. It's the experience of the soul in this life. But it's not your soul. All right? Your soul is free of all the bodily functions, including bloodlines. So your soul is the one that's choosing. And he's saying that here. This sh it's a light that shines through the shadow of flesh. I've said this before. If people are having a hard time understanding this. A lot of people watching right now, you've been to a funeral before where you've seen a dead body in the casket, a dead body of someone that you knew. Nine times out of ten, anybody who's experienced that will tell you the person lying in that casket looks nothing like they looked when they were alive. That's because the soul's gone. So that in itself is a good representation of why the body is not the soul. Right? Your body, just because you're born to somebody who is a good person, does not mean that you're going to be a good person. It is your free will choice, just like you could be born to a very evil son of a bitch and you turn out to be a really good person. It's your choice. It's the choices that you make. It's got nothing to do. Hear me when I say this. There's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of people out there, especially on Telegram, telling you a different story. And the story they're telling you is very satanic. It's got nothing to do with your body. Doesn't matter what your blood type is. Yes, different blood types have different experiences because of what the antigens do, but that's all that matters to you is the experience you're having. Okay? Your soul is eternal. Your soul is not nature. Nature is not eternal because nature follows the cycle of birth, life, and death. Your soul, however, does not. You can't kill a soul. Right? So, therefore, they're two different things. I hope that makes sense. That's what he's saying here. I'll read that again. Thy light, O man, is the great light, shining through the shadow of flesh. Free must thou rise from the darkness uh, before thou art one with the light. You have to rise out of your own darkness, your own confusion, your own misunderstanding. Shadows of darkness surround thee. Life fills thee with its flow. But know, O man, thou must arise and go forth from thy body. Go far to the plains that surround thee and yet are one with thee too. Macro, micro. We've talked about this a lot. Thoth has this way of doing this throughout these, these tablets. You also see this in the ancient text of the East where they're talking about things that are the macro and the micro because obviously the macro is the, is the mirror expression of the micro. Look all around thee, O man. See thine own light reflected. I just said that. <laughs> I had just said that. Thank you, Thoth. Look all around thee, O man. See thine own light reflected. I, even in the darkness around thee, thine own light pours forth through the veil. Seek thou for wisdom always. Let not, let not thine body betray. Keep in the path of light wave. Shun thou darkened away. Know thee that wisdom is lasting existing since the all soul began creating the harmony from chaos by the law that exists in the way list ye o man to the teachings of wisdom list to the voice that speaks from the past time i i shall tell thee knowledge forgotten tell ye of wisdom hidden in past time lost in the mist of darkness around me the darkness is not just the evil that the other side of this battle does, but it's also your own darkness, your own shadow side, your own misunderstandings, your own judgments, your own anger, your own betrayal. And through that darkness, those imbalances of the root chakra muladhara, do you also forget who you are? 
Know you, a man, that you are the ultimate of all things. Only the knowledge of this is forgotten. Lost when man was cast into bondage, bound and fettered by the chains of darkness. You are all things. You are a fractal of God. Long, long ago, I cast off my body, wandered I free through the vastness of ether, circled with angles that hold man in bondage. Know you, O man, that ye are only a spirit. The body is nothing. The soul is all. Boom. D mic drop. Mic drop right there. The body is nothing. The soul is all. Let not your body be a fetter. Cast off the darkness and travel in light. Cast off your body, O oh man, and be free, truly a light that is one with the light. When ye are free from the feathers of darkness and travel in space as a son of the light, then ye shall know that space is not boundless, but truly bounded by ankles and curves. Know ye, O oh man, that all exists is only an aspect of greater things yet to come. Matter is fluid. It flows like a stream, constantly changing from one thing to another. Again, that goes back to the laws of nature. Matter. Matter has a birth. I've said this before many times, So, I'll, but I'll say it again just to remind you guys or if you're new. If we look at the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, Patanjali talks about three things. Prakriti, Purusha, Ishvara. Prakriti is nature. Purusha is the soul. Ishvara is God. Prakriti, because it's nature, has a birth, a life, and a death. Because it has a birth, and a life, and a death, it is always in states of fluctuation and change. Right? He's saying that right here. Matter is fluid. It flows like a stream, constantly changing from one thing to another. You don't need no med bed. You are controlling the matter. You are. Because your spirit lies within you. And that is what's constantly changing the matter. Because the spirit is the conductor of the nature. Because the spirit cannot die. The soul cannot die. Then it does not abide by the laws of nature. But yet rather the laws of nature bend to the will of the soul. This is what Yahshua taught too. So I ask you again, my friends, do you really need that med bed? That's why things like ASEA are so great from our sponsors, because ASEA is not messing with God's design. ASEA is supporting your body so that your body can do what your body is supposed to do. Your body can react to the, 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 to the, to the request of the soul, right? It's giving you that signaling back so you're, that it's not doing it for you. It's supporting you. So why are you going to hand your power over and become enslaved to a concept like the med bed when there's already products available that are allowing you to follow God's design? You got to think about this. Don't get trapped again. Don't get hypnotized again into another cabal because that's just another cabal. All right. Through all the ages has knowledge existed. Never been changed, though bur buried in darkness. Never lost, though forgotten by man. Know ye that throughout the space that ye dwell and are others as great as your own, interlaced to the heart of your matter, yet separate in space of their own. Once at a time long forgotten, I thought open the doorway, penetrated into other spaces, and learned the secrets concealed. Deep in the essence of matter are many mysteries concealed. Nine are the interlocked dimensions, and nine are the cycles of space. Nine are the diffusions of consciousness, and nine are the worlds within worlds. I, nine, are the lords of the cycles that come from above and below. Space is filled with concealed ones, for space is divided by time. Yet ye the key to the time-space, and ye shall unlock that gate. Know ye that throughout the time-space, consciousness surely exists. Through from our knowledge it is hidden, yet still it exists forever. And this is interesting because... We know the law of one talks about space, time, time, space, which is still really hard for the human mind to grasp. The key to worlds within thee are found only within. For man is the gateway of mystery and the key that is one within one. Seek ye within the circle. Use the word I shall give. Open the gateway within thee and surely thou too shalt live. Man, ye think that ye liveth, but know it is a life within death. For as sure as ye are bound to your body, for you know life exists. Only the soul is space free, has life that is really a life. All else is only bondage, a feather from which to be free. Think not that man is earth bound. Though come from the earth he may be, man is a light born spirit. But without knowing, he can never be free. So if you're still stuck to the conditions of your body, thinking somehow that your body is your soul, you'll never be free. 
Darkness surrounds the light born. Darkness fetters the soul. Only the one who is seeking may ever hope to be free. Shadows are the ones that question. Question the church. Question things. You're going through that process of figuring out that you're actually a soul. And none of the information really matters anyway because your soul is eternal. Shadows around these are failing. Darkness fills the space. Shine forth, O light of the man's soul. Fill thou darkness of space. Ye are the sun of the great light. Remember, and ye shall be free. Stay not thou in the shadows. Spring forth from the darkness of night. Let thy soul be, O sun born, filled with the glory of light. Freed from the bonds of darkness, a soul that is one with the light. Thou art the key to all wisdom. With envy is all time space. Live not in the bondage of darkness. Free thou thy light from within the night. Great light that fills all the cosmos, flow thou fully to man. Make of his body a light touch that shall never be quenched among men. Long in the past sought I wisdom, knowledge not known to man. Far in the past I traveled into the space where time began. Sought I ever new knowledge to add to the wisdom I knew, yet only I found did the future hold the key to the wisdom I sought. Down to the halls of Amente I journeyed, the greater knowledge to seek. Ask the lords of the cycles the way to the wisdom I sought. Ask the lords with this question, where is the source of all? Answered in tones that were mighty, the voice of the Lord of Nine. Free thou thy soul from the body and come forth with me to the light. Forth I came from my body, a glittering flame in the night. Stood I before the Lord, bathed in the fire of life. Seized I was then by a force, great beyond the knowledge of man. Cast I was to the abyss, through space unknown to man. Saw I the molder of order, from the chaos and angles of night. Saw all the light spring of order, and heard the voices of light. Saw I the flames of the abyss, casting forth order and light. Saw order spring out of chaos, saw light giving forth life. Then I heard the voice. Hear thou and understand the flame is the source of all things, containing all things and potentially. That order that sent forth light is the word, and from the word comes life, the existence of all. And again spoke the voice, saying, The life is in thee of the word. Find thou the life within thee, and have power to use of the word, vibration, Worded again, this is the, obviously the Bible. We've seen a lot of these Bible verses taken from the Emerald Tablets. This is spoken about in the Bible, is where they got it from. Vibration. What is Ayurvedic? Teach us the three elements of life in Ayurvedic medicine is breath, food, and vibration. Word speaking. Long I watched the light flame pouring forth from the essence of fire, realizing that life is but order and that man is one with the fire. Back I came to my body, stood again, stood again with the nine, listened to the voice of the cycles, vibrating in the power they spoke. Know ye, O Thoth, the life is but the word of fire. The life force ye seek before thee is but the word in the world as a fire. Seek ye the path to the word, power shall surely be thine. Then asked I of the nine, O Lord, show me the path, give me the path to the wisdom, show me the way to the word. Answer me then, the Lord of the nine. Through order ye shall find the way. Saw ye not the word that came from chaos? Saw ye not the light that came from fire? Look in thy life for disorder. Balance and order thy life. Quell all the chaos of emotion, and thou shalt have order in life. Order brought forth from chaos will bring thee the word of the source. Will give thee the power of cycles, and make thy soul a force. That free will extend through the ages, a perfected sun from the source listen to listen i to the voice and deep sake the words in my heart forever have i sought for order that i might draw on the word know ye that he who attains it must ever be in order be for use of the word through disorder has never and can never be take ye these words o man as part of thy life let them be seek thee to conquer disorder and one with the word thou shalt be put forth thy effort into gaining light on the pathway of life seek to be one with the sun's state seek to be solely the light hold thou thy thoughts on oneness of light within the body of man know that all order is from chaos born into the light all right you guys now let's go back and look at doriel's commentary 
All right. So Doriel says the first page consists of commands to seek the light rather than the darkness so that you may realize the oneness of all things. The command is given to seek for wisdom and not allow the material to hold you back for only wisdom creates harmony. Material meaning the body. Even in the time with Thoth wrote, the wisdom of the ancient races was forgotten among the men who were the descendants of the barbarian tribes Thoth found after he left Atlantis. Man is part of the essence of consciousness, but that knowledge is forgotten by the mass of mankind. Thoth, through projections of consciousness, realized that consciousness is the ultimate reality, and that the body was a fetter which binds man to the physical world. Again, point taken. Through experience gained in projection, he learned of the curves and angles of space. Thoth begins to, to state some of the laws which were as mysterious to the people of his time as they are today. That which seems to be the totality of all things is only one facet, one aspect of the jewel of truth. Matter is fluid in so much as it is constantly disintegrating to be formed into new combinations. Other space spoke our, our interlocked worlds and inner spaces of the fourth dimension and other dimensions. The frequency of the number nine is spoken as, of as including nine lords of cycles, though we are told of only seven. The nine include the lords of this cosmic cycle and the one below. Time space is spoken of as being full of concealed ones, the concealment being behind the curves of the space spiral, as consciousness in some form is present in everything. It follows that it must also be in the diffusions of past time matter. And in through man alone can the path and other planes be opened. The circle represents contemplation of the opening and the channel of force passing through the centers of the body. The word is the vibration which loosens that power. Only through this can life really be realized. Man is not material, though seeming to be. He is light, springing from the eternal source and only appearing as a material being. And even materiality is only so in see seeming, for in the ultimate the material becomes the light. Thoth seeks constantly for more wisdom to add to that which he already has. Thoth journeys to the halls of Amente to ask the lords the question, where is the source? He is commanded by the Lord of Nine to free himself from the body, only for, the, the, for only the spirit can be truly answered. Thoth frees himself from the body and is cast into the abyss, literally the great deep, and there is as shown the molding of the order from disorder. The Lord of the Nine has temporarily harmonized him with the full flow of the Yarkima, and he can see into the Ayad in the Arek and see the creation of the forming of the cosmic consciousness. We are shown that the true word is order, which changes all disorder into its own likeness. The life in man is a manifestation of order and therefore a key to the word. If you can realize the full meaning of this passage, you have the key to the lost word. Life is an expression of the order, which proceeds forth from the absolute fire of the torchbearer. We are thus again shown that the word is order and harmony. The path to the word lies in ordering your life so that chaos is eliminated from it. Man is lost from the word because he has allowed disorder and chaos to rule his life. Every effort per, per, put forth, every conquest of disorder brings us closer to the word. All right, you guys.